Good screaming ghouls and welcome back to the channel. Huge shout out to my Patreon and my YouTube members for picking another awesome item out of my collection. And that's what this video is about today. Uh, if you have yet to check out the perks that I have for my Patreon or my YouTube membership, why not? There's some really awesome things uh, that you guys can receive for uh, investing in my content. Take a look down below in the description. Now, huge shout out to Zach O. Green for picking my Frankenstein's Monster Collection. This collection has a lot of meaning to me. Uh, emotionally wise, it has lots of meaning to me. And I'm going to share that with you guys in a little bit. I do want to tell you that my next items that I will be showcasing here will be my American Werewolf in London, picked by Shelley's. Thank you very much. So make sure you turn on those notifications so you know when this video goes live up for viewing pleasure. I will be showcasing majority of my collection and uh, my Patreon and YouTube members pick which parts of my collection I showcase. Okay, now let's dive into today's collectible video. Ah, uh, So if you know me, you know I am a huge Frankenstein's monster fan. Uh, when I was a little hellion running around causing mischief, um, I was introduced to Frankenstein 1931 um, by my grandmother. At this time, black and white films were still a thing, as well as black and white television shows like Car 54, Where Are You? or Mr. Ed. I know I'm showing my age. Anyways, so it wasn't really strange to watch a black and white movie as a little girl as it would be right now, right? Kind of weird if for watching black and whites if you're just getting into horror as a child. Anyways, um, huge shout to my grandma. May she rest in peace. Uh, but when I seen Frankenstein's monster for the first time, there was something about him that hit my soul as a young child. Uh, at that time, I really didn't understand, but I felt a connection uh, with him. Uh, the fact that he was misunderstood and judged, I felt the same way. I was constantly misunderstood as a child. Hell, even sometimes as an adult, I'm still misunderstood. Uh, oh well, though, right? Anyways, my relationship with Frankenstein's monster grew out throughout my childhood and into my adult life, where at the time of 10, where I seen Frankenstein's monster again, or Frankenstein meets Abbott and Costello, I friggin' love that one, uh, I kinda understood and was able to relate even more to the monster uh, than any other creature that I have seen in horror. And uh, to understand what was happening to him at 10, uh, opened my eyes compared to when I was a lot younger when I seen him for the first time. I honestly didn't understand a whole hell of a lot of the film. But as I grew older, I was able to understand even more. And then um, as a teenager, I rented the book uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein from the library. Yeah, you know those things, those those archaic buildings that have all the books in them. Yeah, no one uses anymore. I still use the library. <laughs> so um, once I rented Mary Shelley's from a Frankenstein from the library, I had to have it amongst my books. Now, I'm not a huge reader. I never was as a child unless it was like a Fangoria magazine or a comic book. But uh, this was one of the books in my collection and I still have it to this day. And uh, I've read the book several times. If you have yet to see Mary, if you have yet to read Mary Shelley's Frankenstein and you only saw the movie, please do yourself a favor and read the book. The book is just, it's, it's great. The movie is awesome, but the book, there's nothing that can compare to it. Uh, quick little break there. If you're already enjoying this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Yes, I know, I know. I just interrupted the whole video for that. But anyways, anyways, um, Mary Shelley's uh, Frankenstein, I think, should be a book in school that kids are made to read. <laughs> uh, I think it would also help to understand that misunderstood um, child or that child that seems to be out of place. There's a lot to relate to Frankenstein's monster as a child and hell, even as a socially awkward adult. Uh, but anyways... Let's get into my first piece because I can ramble on, you know, horror babble and all that jazz. So my very first piece I'm going to show you is my favorite mask. And uh, Heavy got this for me 
uh, several years ago from Trick or Treat Studios. If you were in my previous uh, uh, live streams from my bedroom upstairs, you would have seen this guy behind me all the time. Uh, this is uh, Frankenstein's monster. Uh, his mask by Trick or, Trick or Treat Studios. And uh, the very well, very well done. You've seen me wear this in one of my TikTok videos doing the monster mash. Yes, there is a video of me doing the monster mash. It's on my TikTok somewhere. Anyways, this mask is very, very well made. And uh, you can get this guy. You can get this guy right now still at Trick or Treat Studios. Trick or Treat Studios has the licensing for all the Universal Monsters. I have the majority of them. I am missing a few Universal Monster Masks, but eventually I will get them. Um, but they did an amazing job with him. And uh, I, I, he is one of my prize. One of my prize. Like I, I keep him up out of the way so that the grandbabies and other people don't touch him. Uh, keeping his mask, uh, the latex, pliable as well. It's a really important thing when you are collecting masks because what happens over time, uh, oxygen, air, all of that plays a huge role in the composition and the stability of your mask and keeping its form without it rotting or, you know, falling apart and stuff. Because that does happen, guys. It does happen. So if you're a mask collector, make sure you go and check out different tips and tricks here on YouTube or articles on how to keep your masks looking good. Now, my next piece comes from Heavy again, and most of my stuff comes from Heavy. Anyways, I got this guy this Christmas, so I was really stoked when I seen it. It is the Nika Ultimate Frankenstein's Monster. This guy right here. Now he is out of his box because I have to enjoy him. I have to. Yes, I play with him. I move his arms around. I put him in different, you know, positions, and I also put on one of his many heads. So um, you see my script there. In in this box, it comes with uh, three heads that you can pop on and off, three sets of hands, uh, handcuffs, and two different sets of flowers. And here is the back of the box. And uh, Boris Karloff, man. Boris Karloff brought Frankenstein's monster into my life, 1931. Uh, I know my video is not going to do this any justice, so I will be putting pictures up here on YouTube. And if you have Instagram, I'll be throwing them up on Instagram. But uh, this is Frankenstein's monster. Now, I did remove his flower that he holds in that hand there because I just didn't want it to fall out and lose it. Uh, this is one of the faces, uh, that, not the face that he comes with. This is his smiley face. Uh, I love this guy. Uh, Frankenstein's monster is, I will say, one of my most emotional pieces of my collection. Um, there are so many emotions attached to Frankenstein's monster just because of how I grew up, where I grew up, and uh, being shown this monster and relating to him at such a young age and him being a, such a huge part of my life growing up. I know it sounds weird to say, but uh, Frankenstein's monster really helped me cope with a lot of things in my life, things that, you know, the monster went through. Well, I didn't murder anybody, uh, accidentally murder anybody. But uh, anyways, on to the next awesome little piece of my collection is the Funko Pop. This little guy right here, I friggin' love him. Um, he is uh, from Nanaimo. Me and my family went to Nanaimo several, several summers ago, and we were just shopping around, walking around, looking at things. And I found him um, at one of these shops in the mall there. And I was so excited because he was hard to find where I currently live. He was impossible to find. So it was a little uh, bumming, you know, I was a little bummed out about it. However, when we were walking through, we seen it. I was like, oh, I'm buying it. I didn't care how much he costs. I don't even remember to this day how much he costs, but I bought him. Uh, I would love to have the Bride of Frankenstein as well. She's a pain in the butt to get too. Uh, but uh, a lot of my collection has memories tied to them, uh, attached to them, and some of them have more emotions than others. Uh, I have more Frankenstein's monster items. It's just these guys are the easiest to pull out and show you. 
Uh, I have t-shirts, stuffed animals, stickers, you name it, of Frankenstein's monster. But these guys were just the easiest one. I am waiting for my order from Gutter Garbs. So back in February, Gutter Garbs, uh, Gutter Garbs had uh, this duo t-shirt set, Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster for Valentine's Day. And you got like 5% off if you bought both of them at the same time. And well, I had to have both of them. So I did. I'm still waiting for that order to come. It's killing me. I mean, coincidence? Yes. I did not realize that I was going to be filming Frankenstein's Monster today. It's just my favorite go-to shirt. I've had this shirt for years. Uh, just one of my many Frankenstein's Monster shirts. Uh, but coincidence, right? <laughs> I did not plan it. I did not. Um, but this video is already getting into 12 minutes. I don't want to take up any more of your guys' time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for sharing my videos, commenting, liking, all of that fun stuff that you guys do. Thank you for supporting this channel and my content. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already liked or subscribed, please do so now. I'm sure I can give you lots of fun entertainment. And this Wednesday, guys, 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time, we will be streaming live here on YouTube. We're gonna be checking out a gothic horror game so stay tuned or check out in the links to uh, get yourself a reminder. Anyways, I love your guts. Thank you for watching and I'm out. Flashes all later. Bye-bye.